I'm Megan Horneman, the Chief Investment Officer, and we're coming to you today to discuss the recent geopolitical events between Russia and the Ukraine. What we are not is political analysts. We're not going to speculate on what events may or may not occur in the future because of what's going on with Russia and Ukraine. Instead, we're investment analysts, and we're going to talk about the current event, what's going on now, what it means for economic growth, and what that means for your asset allocation. What we know now is the sanctions against Russia from the US, its NATO alliances, and many other countries around the world are very harsh, they're deep, and they're gonna have far-reaching tentacles in the Russian economy. We've seen this translated into their equity market. Their equity market's been halted for multiple days because they had a decline of 50% or more from its recent top. We've seen the Russian ruble trading at a record low versus the dollar. And what we've seen is that the sanctions against the central bank have really not helped the central bank um, stave off a run on their, on their banks. There's very limited ability for that central bank now because of all these sanctions to, to, to um, avoid a further collapse of the Russian economy. What does that mean for the rest of the world from a economic growth perspective? And what we know is that the biggest impact that will be felt is through higher commodity prices. We're seeing that specifically in energy prices. This will result in some slower growth, not only in the US, but also internationally. The biggest um, impact here in the US is gonna be through the consumer. Um, consumer spending makes up the most of GDP, and we do think the consumer spending will slow more than expected this year. But we don't think that there's a recession in the making yet because coming into 2022, the US and our international allies had very solid economic growth. The US consumer has net worth at a record high, wages have been rising, and the labor market is actually really starting to, to show some improvement. So we think these things, while growth will be slower, will help us avoid a recession. The other thing that will be felt is inflation. Um, the rise in energy prices and broad commodities will result in inflation being stubbornly high for this year and, and next year. Now, the question we get a lot is, what does this mean with the central bank? We don't think this changes the course of the Federal Reserve. We still think they'll start their tightening cycle in March. We do think that it takes some of that pressure off from a shock and awe type of move. Instead, they can be more gradual, say that they can pivot and be more aggressive if necessary, but that they were, are also monitoring the situation between Russia and Ukraine, and does it change economic growth here in the US? Now, what does that mean from an asset allocation perspective? We realize that it's been very challenging to watch the, the violent swings in the market. Most people think about volatility to the downside, but we've seen volatility on both sides. It's been a lot to digest. What we know is that we have very well diversified asset allocation across all of our portfolios, where we're also taking into account each client's risk tolerance. We're assessing the risk in your portfolios. We're weighing that against the geopolitical risk that we see in the market right now. But we don't think this is changing our fundamental base case on the US economy. The US economy is still strong. We think it can withstand what's going on from Russia invading Ukraine. We think corporate earnings are strong. So that still keeps us constructive on the global equity market as a whole. The other thing we know about the, the, uh, the portfolios is that the diversification that we have put forth in all of our asset allocations has worked. Coming into 2022, no one wanted to own bonds. Bonds have really served their purpose as being a, a portfolio diversification tool. Now, as mentioned, this is a very challenging time. We sympathize with that and understand it's not just only difficult to watch from a humanitarian perspective. It's difficult to absorb these daily market moves. We are consistently monitoring this situation. And as always, you know, portfolio diversification is the most important thing. Now, we, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to any one of your financial advisors.